All right, what is going on guys? So, new-ish bit of canal today. Fished this once before. Um, I'm gonna start things off with the new Box Rage jointed throw shad. Not used these before. So, so it swims. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's a um, 23 centimeter one, this one. I've got to have a belly weight on them and didn't have any, so I just sort of made one with an old jig head yesterday, but seems to swim all right with it. Hopefully we can get some fish. See how coloured the water is. I've got a, a smaller one that's uh, a bit brighter. I think the water's a little coloured, but yeah. Start chucking this one. See if we can catch some fish. Not really used swim baits at all in ages, really. So, yeah, need to get into it a little bit. <laughs> I've just been using jerk baits and tail baits and stuff mainly. I think I'm gonna try the smaller one out. I'm not uh, feeling this natural cord one in the water clarity I've got here today. So, that one back. 18 centimeter one. Oops. Wish I got bigger size in this color to be fair. Like a UV perch. Yeah, that one looks better actually. That's not kiting at all. I'm gonna use a small size. Big size, it's a bit natural and it kites. But the way I've got it rigged or not, I'm not sure, but let's stick with this UV one for now. Just changed that small size. Got slammed. Ooh, not a terrible fish that either. Actually nailed it. <laughs> oh, proper slamming it that. Eh? Ooh, got some power. Not massive at all by any means, but absolutely nailed it. Right, get my net on this because I'm a bit high up here. Very poorly set up net, but. <laughs> yeah, definitely good idea changing that colour then. Not a big fish, four or five pounds, but very nice hit on that. Took it head first, but it looked to where that treble is. Get my pliers out. I always get asking people asking me to show the unhooking a bit more. Um, so yeah, I'll do it quickly because I want to get it back. Assess where the hook is. You're be prepared for him to flip as well. Grab the opposite, uh, opposite gill to where the hook is. Assess where it is. So that one's just there, not in the gill, so easy on hooking. One treble point in. So just quickly, you can see that. Grab that with the pliers, sneak it out, done. Easy as that. There's the first fish. Put up a nice fight, give it a good hit. Get these hooks out of the um, net. And we are away. Let's look at that back. He's feisty. Come on, dude. Nail it, nail it. There he goes. Sweet. First fish at session, out of the way. 
jointed crow shed, smaller size, got nailed, sort of fifth cast, I'd say. So, yeah, good idea of me to change the uh, colour on that. Keep fishing with this for a bit then. Probably a bit too coloured for that bigger size here, so I'll uh, stick with this one, I think, for the rest of the session. There we go, there's another one. Right off that fat bank, like I just said. Not big again, I don't think. It'll put up a good fight in this stretch though. Love it when I get one on a long cast. Damn it, it's digging. Ooh, and it's a small pike, smaller than the last one, I think. Nailed it again, head first again, by the looks of things. <laughs> Just kiting. Proper got them troubles in him. Looks like it inhaled. Whoa. Looks like it inhaled the entire bait there. Where them hooks are. Quickly grab this geese up. Right. Back troubles come out there, but he had both in his mouth. Yeah, this small size, getting hammered. Two fishing, like 10 minutes like that. Show you again quickly the unhooking process. Make sure the camera's on it. So I'm going to opposite side of where bait is. Teasing his mouth open. See, this hook's a little deeper on this one. There, but it's in the top of his mouth and not through his rakers. So it should. One hook point in, so it should pop out relatively easy, like so. I think I missed that, but yeah, super easy to get out when they're not in the rakers. There we go, smaller than that last fish, but another one on Fox uh, Dirty Pro. Quickly drop this guy back. See you, bud. Hooks on that front treble again. Back treble away in that one's mouth, so I think he inhaled the entire bait. But yeah, just had the one hook in him. That's two fish out of two hits as well, so we've got a pretty good hookup ratio. I want to, I want this one on a regard that would fit it. I want a big fan of it, but. Uh, yeah, it works, so. Nothing to complain about. Two jackies. We've <laughs> covered oh, 20 meters of this stretch. Not even a quarter of it, I wouldn't say. So, yeah, it's looking good. Ooh, that one pipe in some over there. See if we can get a cast to it. Not far. Trying to weed down, see down there. <laughs> right, a bit deep in weeds that to get older to be fair. I'll have a couple of casts around there though. See if I'll punch out for it. There we go. That's another little one. Right on this inside edge. Sweet. <laughs> That's smaller than other two. I think it's barely up as well. Tiny, tiny pipe. Crushed into that though. Easy enough in. Trouble ain't just in bottom wet, so don't need to get my pliers out. Pop that straight out. There we go. Oh. I wasn't meant to happen, but he's back. <laughs> mm. 
nailed into that then again. So that's three fish. So long I've been fishing. It is half seven, so I've been fishing 40 minutes, three pack. So yeah, not a bad start. Only jacks. I reckon if I was using that larger size, I'd uh, probably had a bigger one, to be fair. I wish I got this colour in that size. But what as I fish, to be fair? Maybe I will one day. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, it's off. <laughs> no way. Oh, like exact same spot nearly. I thought it was weak, so I just tried to bump it off and then saw it. Didn't hit it hard, I just like grabbed onto the tail. What? Weird. Just a few little jacks around this area then. <laughs> Next cast, exact same spot, little jack. How I'm working this is, I'm not typically straight retrieving like I would. Uh, like a paddle tail bait or something like that where I'd straight retrieve and just change the um, you know retrieve speeds and stuff like that this has got like a um, really nice flutter when you twitch it so I'm uh, testing it out giving it a few winds giving it a bit of a twitch pauses faster winds and mixing it up and yeah they're loving it three fish landed and one hit so Cannot complain at that. One behind it. He's got it. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was a cool hit. It's only a small fish, but cool, cool hit. I think this section's just full of jacks, to be fair. <laughs> like I said, I've only been here once before. There we go. Another easy enough in. Pop. Smaller than the last one, even. Uh. Alright, guys, so fish that stretcher canal. Spot I really wanted to fish. Uh, someone pulled up cars fishing, so didn't get to drop on that. Usually the best spot on there. Well, from my limited experience, but anyway, yeah, we're on a move to a different stretch now little bit clearer water here so i can show you the action of it and that we've had four pike on it though so pretty good morning it's um yeah better than i expected this way the oh, i'll just cast it into that one there we go <laughs> the original pro shad from fox was a good lure but it tangled quite frequently on casts so I expected this one to be the same uh, but I've not actually had this tangled once on a cast I mean you just saw me cast it into brambles then didn't get tangled so yeah that is a surprise but a good surprise for sure so yeah it does not tangle as bad as the original pro shads um, the swimming action super nice hopefully let's show you here quite like you don't have to fish it fast quite a tight wiggle on that um and yeah i find twitching it get a real nice flick like a dying fish on that i think that looks really good that's you know on a twitch i've had loads of well from the hour i fished i've had a lot of hits on that so yeah, you can twitch it, you can straight roll it, pause it. I've got this rigged with two size one trebles. I think this is the 18 centimeter one. I've just realized now that my belly weight's fallen out, but it still swims all right. So yeah, they said 
it said on the fox thing you need a belly weight for it to swim like that, but this is swimming chill with that one, so yeah, you don't need a belly weight. <laughs> um, that's good news then. Fish it super shallow now. It's like I had a five gram belly weight on it before. I was running a little deeper, and now I can, yeah, fish it shallow as I like over weeds, shallow waters. So, this size at least, you don't need a belly weight, turns out. But they do recommend using it with one for whatever reason. So, but overall, I'm pretty impressed with this lure. I do prefer it without a belly weight. So, yeah, I'm, I'm confused why it swims without one when they say, <laughs> when Fox himself say it needs one. But, uh, yeah, I'm not complaining with that. I actually prefer it loads more without one. Twitch it, straight retrieve, spin stop. Faster, fast retrieve, slow retrieve, it's, uh, yeah, nice little, like even on a fast retrieve, it's not, not rolling at all. So that's like, yeah, very stable compared to a lot of soft swim baits. Uh, yeah, that'll be it. Might pull another pike out maybe while I'm here actually. You see how that bigger one swims with, um, without a belly weight as well. This one might just swim all right because it's the uh, small size like. Try this one. Uh, no, that one swims chill as well without a belly weight. That's so good. It's way better. I might fish with this for a little bit then. See if you can get one of the bigger size as well. Feels a loads better without a belly weight, which is, yeah. See, it gets a little unstable on a uh, super slow retrieve, but just like that, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna fish with this one for a little bit. <laughs> now I don't have to have a belly weight on it. Well guys, not going to fish much longer with this, but overall, very impressed with this lure. To start off with, this big one was kiting a bit, but um, no, it's not, so that would definitely do my belly weight. Uh, I probably should try them with the actual harnesses that Fox has made for these, the Thai Pro harnesses or whatever they're called, so yeah, if anyone from Fox wants to send me one, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, that's probably going to do it now. This uh, stretch of canal's a bit dead today, so fish to that bridge, probably call it. A bit clearer on here, though, so I'm still hopeful I'm going to get a fish. But we'll see. That'll probably be the end of the video. Nice lure. I'll put a link in the description to it. Um, like I said, there's they're not really, I'm not sure we're going to upload this actually, but at the time I'm filming this, they're not really fully released in the UK yet. There's a couple of shops that have got a few different colours, but yeah, hopefully by the time I put this out, they'll be fully released. I'll put some links in the description where you can buy one. And uh, yeah, don't worry, not fish with swim baits for like months really, so nice to get some fish get a bit of confidence back in them just been sticking with jerk baits and tail baits well yeah that'll be it for this video hope you've enjoyed make sure you subscribe to see more videos where i catch small fish and use different lures and stuff oh yeah that's it guys catch you in the next one